Okay, man, here we are. It's been a while since we've done a pit tour. There might be a couple of new boats you guys want to take a look at. This is a crew that, uh, that hasn't made all of the races in the last year or two, but finally been kind of showing up again the Pewditch Pit. Look at the display here. See how it's laid out? I don't know if you can see all four boats kind of splayed out. These things are all ballistic rockets. They have their own mold that they uh, pull these boats out of, and they're just beautiful in, in every way. The Beacon Plumbing was just on the water. It went super fast. I thought, well, he's not going to be able to troll. And then he slowed down so it was barely moving and then poked it and it took off like a rocket. So, uh, my goodness. So, Adam, it goes fast, it goes slow, it turns corners. I mean, <laughs> is there anything it doesn't do right now? <laughs> it even looks good. We're going to see the yellow version in a minute. Uh, when he gets moving good, I'll, uh, I'll show that to you. There is, you can't see it right now. Maybe you can. There's a dead boat all the way out in the right turn. It's, uh, it's uh, a little less than courteous to throw out there uh, when the boat's already dead and that guy'd like to pick it up. However, presumably he's gonna run maybe one lap. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and bring it in. a boy. Okay, now that's nicely done. I appreciate that kind of sportsmanship. Uh, well, this is, you know, whose pit is. This is, it's mine. I ran it. Ran actually phenomenal, which uh, I, I don't mean to say that as though I'm surprised. But I am. <laughs> Ken Olson is back. Hi, Ken. Hey. World traveler, uh, solver of problems all over on military bases and so on. I won't tell you any more than that, but uh, he's your guy. By the way, um, maybe I'll, hey, maybe I'll throw a link down. Everybody always asks me how they get a hold of one of these. Ken makes these himself. He uh, is always changing his designs using some really exotic stuff, uh, making super lightweight and super fast round nose hydroplanes. So if you're into building one of those, hook up with Ken. Okay, carbon fiber cowling, look at that. Very sparse, which is ideal. I'm betting that is super lightweight and it probably doesn't need anywhere near all that foam to float that thing. Unreal. Charlie's girl, always one to watch. Mike's been a great new addition to the club. You know, new guy shows up and you think, yeah, it's gonna be five years before this guy learns how to drive his boat. Holy cow, he's great right out of the box, but I think he's an old RC guy from way back, so um, my goodness. Boy, that camel is beautiful, isn't it? You just hardly can't beat that. I know it's not coming across right in the video, but this thing, the color just pops. Look at that long turbine tube. I'm telling you, that's just cool. I don't care who you are, that's cool right there. Derek, speaking of new guys. Hey, how's Hi, Derek. Going? <laughs> Derek is starting to finish heat, starting to sneak up on it. He's like, uh, yeah, I'm feeling racy, so we'll see. How's it running today? Pretty good. We did yeah. some testing yesterday, and she flew on flying pretty true. And, nice. And uh, excited for racing today. Yeah. All right, go get it. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, that's, this, this is how high tech we are here. See, a little duct tape. <laughs> Keeps the water. It out. works, doesn't it? Oh, it does. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, we're in the Kinney Pit. You've been here before. Say hi. Hello. I'm going to put a link to her channel in this video, so uh, go check it out. There's a build series on this boat and all kinds of other really cool stuff. Her YouTube channel, so uh, uh, go check it. I got to. Can I? Can we? Uh... There will be another oh, build series. There it is. Soon. Look at that, nice and clean. Oh, there's a new series coming? It will be. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Another boat? Yep. Okay, what are you guys building? Uh, MSUS. No. Yeah, no. It's going to be the Renault. The Renault? Oh, I love it. All right, it's going to be yours? 10 scale? It's going to be 8 scale. 8 scale. Gas or nitro? Nitro. Nitro, dang it. 
I say dang it because Steve is really fast. I got to race against you. <laughs> Picked up the old Pico. This boat has a million wins. Actually, I last I knew it was for sale. Are you still selling it? It's still for sale. Oh man. All right, I'll try to get a video of this thing running. This thing has won a lot of races here in RC Unlimited. Check this out. What's the old, uh, I think Mark Evans, when he drove it, he nicknamed it the Hoover. It's got, uh, they tried a, uh, the turbine intake up at the front here. Mark said it didn't work with the darn, so they put this extra flap on here, controlled by your foot. He said once it came up to speed, you'd open that thing and it was just like kicking in a second gear. Finally got enough air. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Pico's for sale. Steve Kinney. Hit me up, I'll hook you up with him. Uh, hopefully he'll run it here before the video is done. Here's the Oli. How come the boat looks so good? I gotta find some damage. Oh, there's, there we go. It's gotta look like you've raced it for crying out loud. Right. <laughs> good luck today. Okay, this is Bobby Colleen. His boats are so lightweight and so thin, you can't even see them. <laughs> That's a late arrival right there. Mark and Pat. I don't know if you can hear me anymore. Quick draw. Man, these things are fast. They're uh, a little bit of a maintenance hog, so you gotta you got to stay on top of them. But the speed is worth it. Another one. There you go. Bill is back. Good looking setup. Beautiful boat. Here's one you guys haven't seen, the Zenetic. This was uh, scratch built. I'm gonna go around this post here. Scratch built off of Newton plan. And he did a, I wish it was, I don't want to just reach in and lift the cowling, but uh, a newer racer here. Didn't know what he was doing, but by golly, it's beautiful inside and out, and it works great. It's an electric boat. Backstretch, lane one and two, lane one and two. I'm going to be able to prove it to you. I don't know if you can see in there. Anyway, he bought a, he bought a uh, laser cutter cut out he digitized the plans cut it out then bought a cutter for the vinyl cut his own vinyl i mean come on making the rest of us look bad i know there's boats running i'll show you some boats here in a minute there's lexi brant going for the big win in 10th scale today lexi's running a new to her boat Where'd you get this? You got this out of Texas, right? Oh, you built this one? Oh, okay. Registration is now closed. Oh. Registration is closed. Beautiful boat. If it's a David Brandt boat, you know it's gonna be a rocket ship. Man, nicely done. It's fast, too. Did you run it yet today? Yes, I did. You did? Did you like it? <laughs> Oh, good, good, good. She'd been running an old round nose boat and doing really well with it, but now uh, she's done stepping up her game. Speaking of David Brandt boats, here's another one. I'm going to just have to assume that the Speedy is basically a copy of this in miniature. Pardon me, Henry. David's, uh, okay, once this boat comes in, the course will be closed. Cowling set up. Course is closed. We got a couple dead boats to pick up. Oh, we missed the rock on closed. the water. So Did it work, David? For heat uh, yeah. Oh, good. It wasn't work. Good, good, good. Better than it was last week. All the other heats. It's been well, fighting it just a little bit. You know, these gas feet. boats, man, they get a gremlin in them, and man, driver's can't. meeting will be about. It's a nightmare trying to figure it out. Forty-five or so. That boat's won a lot about, of races, so uh, he'll get it. Before that, Don Bach will be Miss Esquire. This is a newer one that David also built for Bill Brandt. And I believe he won the last race so with it. we got about 30 minutes of testing. Here you go. About 30 minutes of testing. Three left. Miss Houston's. So that's how you know when you're in Henry Ord's pit. And he's got your little 10th scale there. 
just a gorgeous boat. Look at that. And I remember when Henry first started, I thought, man, this guy, what a nut. Sorry, Henry, nothing personal. It's just, you know, when you started, you didn't know nothing, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was cute, okay? <laughs> but now, Henry's the guy. He won a national championship one year, I think two years ago. So uh, don't mess with Henry. Remember how I told you those quick draws are fast? Looky here, Zanoa and Henry's boat is a rocket. So don't just go ordering quick draws just because I said so. This thing is fast. I mean, we'd have to take it apart to figure out how come how Henry made it so fast, but it is. It's just nicely, nicely done. Cowling looks great. That's Henry. He, he just runs a really, really good program. Looks exactly the same, doesn't it? Just smaller. <laughs> Moving on. This is how you can tell when you're in Bill Brandt's pit because he's got batteries everywhere. These, uh, as I understand it, Bill sells these. Um, and uh, Bill wins everything. So, yeah. Uh, it's all RC1, the number one, dot com. Just the way it sounds. A L L R C, the number one, dot com. And that'll get you to Bill's website where you can get basically everything to build a boat short of the hull. You won't get David Brandt to build you a hull. I know for a fact. Gosh, that looks great. That gorgeous rock. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, that is a really, really flat right pad. Which is kind of what we've been doing now. These things are so fast and they have so much power. You just don't need that big angle. Oh, I'm going to say this is electric boat because I can see that's a limited propeller. We limit the size of the props because our electric boats go, you know, 65, 68 miles an hour. And you get these little things going 75 and you're in big trouble. So we just uh, don't let that happen. Wait a second. It's a nitro? Oh, it is. Why didn't you say something? I thought that prop looked like a limited prop. We just run a small prop. Didn't beat the band. I bet that thing catches some RPM. Hey, Gary. That's the Prez right there. He's the man. And the uh, 8255 Rock is two scale. Is what? 100% a scale. Oh, really? Yes. This one here? Yes. Nitro boat. Yes. And it's fast. Uh, we're working on it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Well, it's I'll getting, take that. It's getting faster. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, I heard a rumor about that boat. I'll tell you about it later. Maybe you already know. Oh, I'm sorry. I just realized my shadow is blocking everything I'm trying to show you. <laughs> Good old fashioned radio box right there. The boat. I'm going to put my finger here for reference so I can get the dimensions on that. <laughs> Speaking of the rock, another rock. There was a time there weren't any here, now everybody seems to have a rock. But there can only be one in each class, so we must have an electric, a nitro, and a gasser. Look at that Budweiser. These poor guys have really been fighting the tune on this one today. I don't know if they've got it yet. Getting any better? Yeah. Oh, it is? Okay, 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 okay good. Just lengthen that pipe and yeah, rich it. Yeah. All right, there you go. You were just fighting off too much. Yeah. I mean, it's great for super high RPM, but... <laughs> of course, a gorgeous Atlas van lines. Oh, that's cool. I like how he set that speed controller up. I like that a lot, actually. Kind of keep it up out of the water. I don't know quite what's going on there with that bubbly look there. 
cool. Look at that. Not just decals, it's even got little pins in it. Can you see them? That's a scale model of taking it next level. Had to have been Don Mock. <laughs> One of the founders of RC Unlimiteds. Oh, look at that. We have reached the end. We are now in the Mark Conley pit. Super great to have Mark back. He disappeared for a little while. Everybody was like, what happened to Mark? And now he's back. And fast as ever, if not faster. I'm going to say this has been a converted nitro, right there would have been a fuel tank. He must have watched my conversion video. <laughs> uh, subscribe to the channel and check out all my videos. If you've got an old nitro boat and you want to convert it to electric, I have a complete series on how to do that. And uh, you can check that out and convert your boat over and race with no fuss, no muss. Beautiful electric Graham. I know a lot of you won't even know the name, but you should. Didn't really get a fair shake, I think, in H1. Jesse is one of those guys, just a natural. He drove my boat. I had it inboard for a while, and, and uh, we kicked all kinds of fanny with it. Let's see what's running. Oh, there's that Budweiser we were just talking about. All right, let's see if it really is working. You couldn't get it up on pipe earlier. It is on pipe now. Let's see if I can hang with it on the front stretch. Zoomed in. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, now you talk about Slow amazing. on right turn, coming in. Wow. Okay. If you can spin your nitro and keep going, your tune is good. Oh, I was going to try to get Henry. Oh, we are. Let's see if Henry can... He must be toying with a start, doing his timing run here. Yeah, it's one thing to go out there and just drive around fast, fast, fast. You've got to get some timing runs in. Hit it. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> it went and started to turn. So, yeah. Don't really want to do that. I don't know if he's doing another one or just messing around. Let's find out. Okay, we got about 25 more minutes of testing. About 25 more minutes of testing. Oh, he's bringing her in. All right, that's it. All right, here's that Pico we were talking about. I don't think he's run this thing in a year or two. So he says not to expect much. But let's see if it'll go. He was just thrashing with it a minute ago, trying to put it all together. I mean, it literally hasn't even been assembled. Outside. Okay, that's pretty good for a thrashed together boat. Sounds like it's probably two clicks rich, but that is great just to get it out there and get it moving. I drove this boat once when David had it. I couldn't believe how boring it was because the boat just rides perfect, goes exactly where you tell it to, and it never does anything wrong. If it does, that's a driver problem. Okay, for sale, fast, beautiful race winner. Mm-hmm, get you some.